Hello everyone and most welcome to Alexander Technique 24 of our Made Up Alexander Technique series. Accompanying me today is once more Kalle Lundahl. Very welcome Kalle. See we can do a thing of your choice. What is your choice? Chandra Namaskar. Chandra Namaskar. Chandra Namaskar. Moon greeting. Because it's after dark, the sun has already gone down. It's been down for quite some while. It's four o'clock merely. I'll ask Kelly to stand in front of the chair to see the development of the monkey. And as always, shoulder width for a balanced stance and no need to take a specific position. What we often get used to is position ourselves. And this is why this neutral monkey is so good because it's not exercise really, it's more of a position. And I uh, took the liberty to change the order. Why? Mm. Why are you starting with the hands? That's to surprise. To surprise. See if we can get some freedom. I think uh, the freedom of the head in connection with the spine is the most important. I have a book recommendation here. I just saw it. It's a new development by David McNeil. Why we gesture. Now in neurology, nobody really believes that gestures are separated from language or the words in the language are separated from what we think. Uh, big separation here is the idea that you can still think while misusing your body. That is proven beyond doubt. That is not the case. It will affect your intellectual capacity. Actually, the first thing what will affect is your intellectual capacity. So when we slouch, when thinking, we do not think anymore. We become reduced to habit, mechanical. Modern academia is nothing but the mechanical repetition of what's going on before. It has no connection whatsoever with the old academia, the true one. It's just a, a repeti repetitive, not an iterative process. There you have a good motivation why looking into the neck and head balance. Because this is actually the seat of the soul in one way. In the balance lies spirituality. You may reach it or you may not. And this nice nodding, and you say no to habit, as a one of the entryways into a wider, more inclusive way of being. And think of a little smile here, or laughter even if it's possible, behind your eyes. Because exactly where your eyes are, Behind those is where this fantastic joint, the atlanto occipital joint, is situated. Very important. And every thought, if you think too much in contradictions, that will affect the balance. Because it's, it's like the butterfly effect, maybe. Mm. So a little thought will change everything. The butterfly effect is that when a butterfly flaps its wings in Texas, there will be a tropical hurricane in Brazil. Something that is actually proven today. So think about a little thought, a little thinking will completely change the outcome. 
butterfly effect. No, you can think of a <laughs> head and neck balance. Why, why not as the butterfly effect? And you lengthen here, lengthen, and you, if possible, let the head lead the movement. That's what I'm trying to point before. It should be like the hour pointer in a clock. So, however you choose, choose to bend your very good hip. You can let the head be on top of the column, not like this, but like this. Remember this. So you continuously do not do like this. Instead, you lead the head on top of the spine while you go down. Point, 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 and then ah, oh, I can look forward. You only look forward when you come to the last here, a little bit, here a little bit. So you can use your gaze. Mm, absolutely. Gaze, I think it's a good hint. Yeah. I think about pointing with a gaze. Very good. Yes, that's just excellent. Widen, lengthen, and try to be a little bit more up there. No need to. And have a direction since we are automaticated and mechanical we need to learn how to freely choose something the choice is a new thing that you will learn Kalle mm -hmm. that you don't have to do the same thing you always do you can choose to do the same thing but you the new thing is the choice now I choose not to do it for instance, here, they should my eyes, then I'm straight. Your eyes should look straight. Here, 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 here. Then I'm here, in this position. Yeah, in this position, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you do the Chandra or the Surya Namaskar, or the greetings of the day or the night, you let your gaze follow. Mm -hmm. That could be helpful. So then you get more sense of doing a, <laughs> a Surya Namaskar monkey. Mm. A monkey there where you learn how to use your hip where it's supposed to work and widen and lengthen at the same time. Looks very good. Looks very good. See if I gently, gently can take you out of this. See here. Mm. Widen. Widen. Now the shoulders come into play also. That direction and you go back, but you still keep the forward direction like that. forward direction think of elongating the fingers don't do it just think it elongating now down so now you're welcome to do whatever you choose whatever is on your creation list
Make a stop there and you are almost in the monkey. A bit close to the wall though. If you move a bit forward, yeah, you can go like that. You have the monkey here. And see here, you, yeah, very good. You widen here. No need to be that stiff. And you can keep your head this way now so you don't look directly at the wall. Well, you do look at the wall. Yeah, now you have this nice directionality of the hand. Very good, Kalle. You widen here and you lengthen. Very good. And try to keep those knees soft, yeah. Little bend there. Yeah. Please continue wherever you are. Looking good. A very awkward position that one so send extra directions to the head and that smile you should bring back to the back of your head think about irony and humor and all those things <laughs> all that we enjoy remember that Seriousness is 666. The only form the devil can take for me, it can never come in the form of joy and voluntariness. And as you do that, continue to widen and lengthening. Now you're sitting in another position of mechanical advantage, the squat. And no need to frown the, the, uh, the forehead. That means that there's a strain somewhere. So do relax in this position. And widening here. Yeah, very good. That's excellent. That's excellent.
think that you have a lot of space behind you, even if there is a wall. You can imagine there is a, a heath there, a green, nice heath, bristling with birds and flowers, yellow, red, blue, everywhere. Reaching to that nice place. Me help you out there. Help you out there. You had, could be more like this. So now it goes in the same direction. Very good. That's much better. And immediately you're starting to open up as well. And my eyes would be straight. Yeah, and especially think that you don't tense the neck. So think that freedom, that happiness, that joy becomes much wider and more lengthened than. the eyes would be towards the roof or where should they be? Well, it depends where your head is, but if you think of the head being on top of your spine, it would be that direction. And so to the, like that? Yeah, in this specific position, yes. Mm -hmm. But it's good that you think it's a, the head is an extension of the back. That's not absolutely true though, but the head is on top of the back. So wherever the head goes, the column and the spine goes with it. Very good, looking good. You have the monkey there again. widen and you go up, 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 think a lot of space here and think about the, that beach in Hawaii, the Blue Lagoon or something like that. Warmth, sweetness of a fresh coconut or something like that, or a pineapple or banana. Ah, tropical fruit enjoyment. You're relaxed, there's no stress. Your head is completely at ease. You set your mind open, widening.
that's that direction here, then we up, up, up. You know what happened? It's getting warmer now, it's very cold. Now it's warmer, so we get back that balance between uh, what is called the fascia and the outer skin. So we are actually one thing only, even though we look that. It looks like we're made out of different parts. I remember Ian McKilchrist said that uh, people who are suffering from schizophrenia, they think they are made of parts, like legs and arms and a head, and that is disjunct from the mind. But we are actually only one thing, and the fascia is the only one thing. We are indivisible, we are individuals in that sense. Direct your hands outwards and upwards. And now you go that way. So you turn like a clock, the head pointing at that hour and you point at the other hour. And do think that you extend way beyond your own head, so to speak. Keep that freedom very good. <laughs> Looking very good. <laughs> so it's <laughs> managed to create some joy even if this desolated place. <laughs> very good, very good. Let's see what happened to the monkey. The monkey is the thermometer. It tells us a little bit about ourselves. If you don't mind, maybe you can stand shoulder-wise in front of the, the chair. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. Let's see here. Ah, oh, now the balance has improved. It's not as stiff anymore. And you de developed a little smile behind here. I think you can feel the difference now, can't you? Mm. You're also a bit taller already. I will bring a full way up. There's no need to go into that yet. And you nod. So, very elegant thing. So you're now slowly learning how that joint is working. And that is the most difficult joint. The most forgotten joint is the hip joint but that joint between the base of the skull and the neck is the most difficult one. But it's also the most rewarding one. There's loads of rewards here to be gained. Very good, it's much, much softer. Lengthening and widening here. And try to Flex a bit there, yes, very good. And I will put you a bit forward there at the same time, very good. There, very good. I encourage you to go down a bit. There, see here, getting warmer. So as we get more balance, we get more energized. We get warmer, literally warmer. Very good. Be this way. That position, remember this position now. Your head doesn't go exactly vertical to the floor, or, or sorry, uh, uh, the roof. Mm. I imagine this feels a bit odd, but this is how you could stance in the monkey. So if you remember that and train that maybe once a day, only for a couple of minutes, 
I think it would be easier uh, than to go into uh, the Surya Namaskar, Chandra Namaskar, and then. But it's looking much better. <laughs> it's very good to see. Doctor, I won't even believe myself. This is really happening here. In the myth of December, the gloomiest part of the year, Let's see here. You can relax the frown on your head. You don't need to tense overly. And we can see here also that we have now a much nicer angle towards the rest of the back. It seems the whole of you, Kali, now looks more connected. You no longer come in parts. You are one wholeness, or holiness, <laughs> not too bad. Then I get you up again here. Let's see, yeah, and you race to your full length. You keep that balance, that openness. Think a lot of space above you, and quite a lot of space, because there is meters behind you as well. Forward, forward, much, much easier for me to move your arm now. Let's see here, forward, point with the fingers, now you can point downwards. Now go to your full, whoa, look at that, full length. Now you are much taller. I'd say, together with the constructive rest that we did before, I'd say that you're two or three centimeters taller. That in just, well, about half an hour. Do that once a day, and you're bound to be much healthier, much happier, and much sharp in your head. Thank you very much, Kalle. Bye, everyone.